Recent studies have found forever chemicals in drinking water across the country. While cities and towns may be able to do something to help solve that problem, about one third of North Carolina homes use well water. It's a challenge that often falls on those who can least afford it. It's the way of life for Kimberly Lee. Her home's water supply comes from a well, but she says her family only uses it to bathe and wash clothes and dishes. So we don't drink the water here. We buy our own water. I don't give it to my dogs either. I've had several die from tumors. So, uh, no. Lee lives less than a mile away from the Camores plant in Cumberland County. While some other wells in the vicinity tested positive several years ago for Forever Chemicals or PFAS, Lee's well did not. Still, though, she won't drink the water any more than she'll eat the fish. I wouldn't eat a fish out of that Cape Fear River for nothing. Yeah. It's just not safe. So much so that the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services is recommending limits on consumption of certain fish from the middle and lower Cape Fear River after they tested positive for forever chemicals. Those chemicals are used in agriculture and to make things like firefighter foam and nonstick cookware. And it's happening all over the country. They've got plants everywhere and it's the same situation. They are contaminating our rivers. A recent study by the U.S. Geological Survey estimates 45% of U.S. tap water contains at least one forever chemical. Municipalities may be able to filter and test their water, but for folks who have well water, the economic burden to test is often up to them. UNC professor Frank Liebfarth is the co-director of the NC Pure program. He says about a third of North Carolina homes rely on wells. Then it is uh, up to individual homeowners, right, to be able to afford uh, to, and to have the knowledge to even implement solutions for chemicals like this. The cost for a certified lab to test a well for PFAS usually runs between $300 and $600 and may require follow-up testing. RTI International is based at Research Triangle Park and studies PFAS contamination. If a well tests positive for forever chemicals, that can mean a filtration system that's not cheap. It may come down to asking what makes more financial sense. So it bodes that question of whether if you're concerned about PFAS, you should spend your money on a water filter that would remove PFAS versus testing, or whether you have the funds to do that testing plus potentially add a filter. If well water tested positive for forever chemicals in homes near the Chemours plant, then the company picked up the tab. With government oversight, Chemours is working to keep PFAS from the air, water, and ground. But for Kimberly Lee, it's still a lot to deal with. It's just a shame. And I, I hate it for these people. I do. And so the um, NCDHHS does have a list of places that you can go to if you're a well owner of a private home and want to get it tested. Right. But again, it is costly, but there is a list there that they do provide you. And it also does make you ask the question, you know, should we be doing more? Should the government offer assistance? Right. You know, where are we in this conversation? Um, we're nowhere near the end of it, that's for sure. And clearly affecting those who live in the area. No question yeah. about it. All right, Russ, thanks.